I'm Mike Michalizzi. I'd like to welcome you to Custom Technical University and our top five tips for writing successful specifications for tile installation. Developing a good specification is like having an accurate step-by-step -step roadmap that brings you to your destination safely. When the installation specification comes to life, it'll look and perform the way it was envisioned by the design team. While it doesn't cover all other related trades work, Specification documents within Section 093000 provide detailed direction and warranty elements for tile and stone installations. A clear, concise, and correct specification guides everyone involved with the project and contains the essentials to protect the owner's investment. A good tile spec helps prevent delays from RFIs, costly change orders, or even failures in the tile assembly. Let's consider our top five tips for writing tile specifications. Tip number one, list specific methods and products. It is critical to list the appropriate Tile Council of North America's installation methods for each tiled area, along with the specific products for the basis of design. Shortcuts like stating, install tile per TCNA, without listing the actual method or products can have disastrous consequences for suitability, even elevations or maintenance. All too often, only an ANSI standard is referenced, and the bidder can submit the lowest cost product meeting that standard, one that may not even be appropriate for your project. Specifying a basis of design establishes the required quality and performance for your particular application, such as extra heavy service conditions, wet areas, suspended slabs, balconies, and exterior facades. These demanding conditions require specific, higher performing products. To help prevent errors and misunderstanding by contractors, delete all non-applicable terms from each specification you submit. This makes your instructions clear and concise. Tip number two, properly specify substrate conditions and preparation requirements. Concrete mixture design and flatness requirements are considered in Division Three specifications. Unfortunately, concrete shrinks and curls over time exceeding the tolerances for tile or stone. Curing agents may also inhibit mortars and adhesives from bonding. Site conditions or project timing can result in excessive moisture vapor emission, impacting certain tiles, stone, or membranes. The prevalence of large format tile, a tile with any side longer than 15 inches, is driving the need to update tile specs. Design professionals favor tile with 24, 36, even 48 inch dimensions, and up to 5 foot by 10 foot in the case of reduced thickness porcelain tile. The larger the tile, the flatter the substrate requirements become. Uneven surfaces create tripping hazards and lead to damaged tile in addition to a poor appearance. For large format tile, variations in flatness for walls or floors should not exceed an eighth of an inch in 10 feet, or a sixteenth of an inch in 24 inches. The best way to meet or exceed this level of flatness on floors is by using a high-strength, rapid-setting, self-leveling underlayment, like custom Level Quick RS. When leveling or proper surface preparation has not been specified, the contractor may try to correct the surface using mortars, maybe even spot bonding, which always leads to failure. Patching compounds and mortar beds may be specified for smaller areas or where buildup is possible. Any wet or intermittently wet area must be treated with an effective waterproofing membrane meeting the requirements of ANSI A118.10, such as Red Guard waterproofing and crack prevention membrane. For areas such as steam rooms, specify that the membrane also meet the low permeability requirements of ASTM E96 Method E to prevent damage from moisture vapor. Tile and grout may be resistant to water and moisture, but they alone will not protect underlying or adjoining surfaces. Although many TCNA details list membranes as optional, strong consideration should be used before deciding to eliminate them from your specification, as water damage is among the most costly repairs. For concrete floors with high moisture emission readings, consider including a moisture vapor barrier such as Customs Tech MBC. Primers and levelers can be applied directly over these membranes. Due to fast-track projects combined with thinner and less rigid construction methods, hard finishes are more subject to damage caused by movement. These conditions call for crack isolation membranes, meaning ANSI A118.12. 
RedGuard also meets these crack isolation requirements. Multi-story residential construction should also include a sound reduction membrane with a high delta impact insulation class rating. This will help prevent sound transmission through tiled floors. In your specification, a thicker membrane may be required, therefore elevations must be closely considered. Tip number three, include control and movement joints in the tile assembly. The design team is responsible for determining movement joint locations. Properly placed movement joints will help prevent failure of the tile assembly. Their inclusion is particularly important for demanding installations such as suspended slabs and exteriors. But any tile exposed to deflection or thermal cycling, even interiors subject to UV exposure, merits extra consideration. Perimeter joints are commonly overlooked and improperly placed and a detailed specification will prevent this. Movement joints must be filled with a suitable sealant that will add flexibility to the assembly, such as color-matched custom 100% silicone sealant. Address control joint relocation per TCNA detail F125 for full coverage or F125 for partial coverage and specify an appropriate crack isolation membrane in part two. It's also important to bring expansion joints, isolation joints, and construction joints directly through the new tile work for TCNA detail EJ171. However, cracks and control joints can be relocated with a suitable membrane. Tip number four, ensure a long-lasting system warranty. There are two ways to ensure that product performance extends beyond minimum ANSI standards. First, specify a system of products from a manufacturer that will provide the owner with a warranty of not less than 10 years from the date of substantial completion. Second, obtain all of the products in the system from a single source manufacturer to ensure full compatibility and warranty compliance. System warranties from Custom offer the best coverage in the industry with terms up to a lifetime. Coverage includes labor to repair or replace the tile assembly in the event of a system failure when qualifying products are used together. Tip number five, update your master spec. The time taken to update your master spec can prevent many issues on a project, including future litigation if something goes wrong. Porcelain tile and installation products, along with the standards, have changed. Your entire specification document, not just Division 9, should be kept current to reflect these changes. We understand that this can be time consuming in any practice. So Customs Commercial Architectural Services representatives are available to help. They can also assist in customizing your master spec to a project-specific document with the appropriate installation methods and products for each structure. This team is comprised of experts on TCNA details, ANSI standards, ASTM testing methods, and other criteria that must be met to successfully specify and install tile. Spec writers will also want to take advantage of Customs AIA continuing education courses. Or join us here at CTU, Custom Technical University, for programs on all types of tile installations. If you'd like to know more about writing specifications for tile installation or how custom products can help you with your next project, please visit our website, custombuildingproducts.com. We invite you to download our helpful mobile app and give us a call with any questions. And be sure to like our video or share it with a friend. Thanks again for joining us at Custom Technical University. We'll see you at our next edition of Custom's Top 5 Tips.